hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a bitget wallet creating a bitget wallet is very easy just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment as that will tremendously help grow our youtube channel so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to download and install the bitget wallet into your phone so guys now for you to do that you have to go over to your play store or your app store if you're using an android device go over to your play store but if you're using an iphone or an ios what you have to do is to go over to your app store so let me tap on my play store right away so guys once your play store opens up what you have to do right here now is actually to search for bitget wallet and for you to do that you have to tap on the search icon below you can see it there let me tap on it then after that what you have to do now is to type in bitget wallet so let me search for it right away let me type it in bitget wallet then after that what you have to do is to tap on search so let me tap on search so guys now you can see the bitget wallet logo right there the arrow is pointing at it let me tap on it so you see it clearly so guys now you can see the BitGet Wallet app right here, you can see the logo, you can see the name, BitGet Wallet, Crypto and BTC. So guys what they have to do right away now is to tap on install, so let me tap on install right away. So guys now you can see the BitGet Wallet is downloading, as you can see there is at 10%, what you have to do is to wait till it's fully downloaded, then we can continue. So guys now let's just wait for a few seconds. So guys now you can see the BitGet Wallet is done downloading, so let me tap on open right away, let me open it. So guys now you can see the BitGet wallet is opening, you can see what is written down there, BitGet wallet web3 trading starts here. So guys now let's just wait for a few seconds. So guys now you can see the next step, you can see what is written there, you can see the first box right there where the arrow is pointing is written, create a wallet. While the second box down there where the arrow is pointing is written, import a wallet. So guys if you already have a wallet, you can import it right there, but if you have not created a BitGet wallet before, what you have to do now is to tap on the first box above, you can see the arrow pointing at it is written create a wallet i do not have a wallet so guys let me go ahead now to tap on it so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on i agree to agree to the terms of service of bitget wallet so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see the next step you can see what's written there set pin code the pin code will be used for transaction verification with wallet signatures BitGet wallet does not store your pin code and it cannot be recovered if lost so keep it safe so guys now what you have to do now is to create a pin code you have to create a unique and a special pin code that you can actually remember make sure it's something that you can remember so guys let me go ahead now to create mine so guys now you can see the next step you can see what's written there please verify wallet password re-enter your six digit pin code so guys what i have to do now is to re-enter the code that i entered in the previous page so let me do it right away so guys now you can see creating so let's just wait for a few seconds wow so guys you can see creating your wallet you can see what's written there we are creating your wallet fetching minutes data we are inscripting your data your wallet is now ready so guys now let's just wait for a few seconds Wow guys can see wallet successfully created. You can see what's written down there. Explore 100 plus minutes now. So guys what you have to do now is to tap on got it. So let me tap on it right away. So guys now by doing this now you've been able now to create a BitGet wallet. But the next important thing you need to do right now is to back up your BitGet wallet. Backing up your BitGet wallet is actually important. And you can actually back up your BitGet wallet either with your Google account or with um, your seed phrase. So guys those are the two ways. You can see where it is written back up there at the top. The arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys now you can see what's written here. Attention. This is an important information. What you have to do is to read through it. So guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on backup mnemonics. So let me tap on it right there. You can see it down there. So guys now right here you are required to enter your passcode, your PIN code. So let me do that right away. So guys now you can see the next step. You can see what's written there. Backup mnemonics. Mnemonics is also called your recovery phrase or your seed phrase. So guys you have to keep this safe. So what I will do now is actually to keep this safe. Keep it somewhere safe here. No one can actually get it. So guys this mnemonics or seed phrase or recovery phrase is the only way you can actually get access to your wallet in case you lose your phone. So guys take note of that. Keep this safe. Anyone who actually have this your mnemonics or your seed phrase or your recovery phrase can actually get access to your wallet and also your phones. So guys make sure you keep this safe. Make sure you keep it somewhere safe. So guys now after that what you have to do now is to tap on backup so let me tap on backup right away but before i do that let me say this one of the ways that you can actually save this your mnemonics or your recovery phrase is to write it down on a book write it down on a book that way it's going to be safe 
and make sure you write it according to the numbers as you can see there the words right there are numbered one to i think one to twelve make sure you write it according to the numbers so guys let me do that right away so guys i'm done writing it so let me go ahead now to tap on backup so guys, now you can see the next step. You can see what's written there. Backup quiz. Please verify the mnemonics phrase in order. So guys, what you have to do now is actually to impute those mnemonics, those seed phrase according to the order. Remember that those seed phrase was actually numbered. You can see there they're asking me to impute the ninth word, the fourth word, and the second word. So guys, what I'll do now is to impute it. Since I've written it down somewhere, let me just look at it and impute it real quick. So guys, now you can see I've imputed the ninth word, the fourth word, and the second word. So what I'll do now is to tap on confirm. Let me tap on confirm right away. Wow guys, you can see what's written at the top, back up, so see there, you can see there the arrow is pointing at it. Wow guys, by doing this now I've been able now to back up my wallet. So guys, now I've been able now to show you guys how you can actually create your BitGets wallet and also back it up. So guys, I've come to the end of this video and I believe you got value from it. If you did, do well to like, subscribe and leave a comment as that will help us grow this channel. So guys, see you in the next upload. Bye.